It's stunning new video, dramatic scenes from several surveillance cameras posted online. The image is so horrifying, it's difficult to watch. It all happened after the driver made a sharp right turn, accelerated, and then barreled down a crowded sidewalk in Times Square. 20 pedestrians hit, mowed down, and tossed into the air. The driver stopped only after he crashed into a metal post. 18-year-old Alyssa Ellsman from Michigan was killed. Her 13-year-old sister hospitalized. Survivors still in disbelief over what happened. Thank God I'm alive. I am so dramatized. Today, the driver and Navy veteran, 26-year-old Richard Rojas, was arraigned and charged with murder, attempted murder, and aggravated vehicular homicide. Authorities say he has a past criminal record. He was arrested just last week for pulling a knife on someone. Questions tonight about why he wasn't still behind bars. I know he pled guilty. I know he was released, but we'll have to look in. The, it was in the Bronx, so we'll have to take a look at that. According to prosecutors, Rojas said at the time of yesterday's arrest, he had smoked marijuana laced with PCP and said, I want to kill them, adding, officers should have shot him to stop him. Why'd you do it? Tonight, police say there is no evidence that he was connected to any terrorist organizations, but they are still searching for a motive to this horrible crime. Rahima Ellis, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.